Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the wild card round to the top cut of the Galactic Championship Qualifier. This is Oricon. We're starting out here with some system phase decloaking on Sean Hawley's side, just so you know what those opening moves were there. Um, joining me today is my good friend, James Ritter. Hey guys, ready for another day of amazing X-Wing. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And we got some cool lists here on the table, including a triple whisper list. What is going on? Let's go ahead. Let's start breaking that down. And for everybody at home, you know what time it is. It's going to be time for you to choose your champion. Yeah, your bet one all champion on the left is uh, Sean Hawley with a pretty interesting uh, first order list. Has uh, three whispers in it, including Whirlwind, uh, which uh, is going to be able to let him uh, get a number of focus tokens uh, for each enemy ship that has you in its front arc. So basically, if they're looking at you. Uh, and on, I think, each of these uh, ships is going to be, on the uh, each of these whispers is going to be a marksmanship, proton rockets, sensor scramblers, and enhanced jamming suite. Uh, Whirlwind also has uh, elusive, had a little bit more load out there. Uh, one of our next whisper pilots here, we have Nightfall. Uh, able to pass out some jams if you move through or boost over a, another ship, including friendly. So you got to be careful there. Um, also, we have uh, uh, the 709th Legion Ace, which is just one of the uh, non-unique uh, whispers. Wanted to keep them at initiative four there and uh, around the same loadout. And it uh, turns out that these whispers are pr pretty good still. So... We'll see how that one goes. Also have a uh, hollow out there in the Thai uh, Baron Interceptor, uh, able to pass off some tokens uh, at the start of engagement phase. Could be a good token, could be a bad token, but you got to do it. It's a friendly at range too. Hollow is uh, rocking uh, Proud Tradition Pattern Analyzer, Magpulse Warheads, and Munitions Failsafe. Uh, those mag plus warheads could be pretty helpful in uh, jamming off and depleting another enemy ship. Uh, and the last ship in this list is a uh, Kai or a First Order Special with Commander Malaris with marksmanship and cluster missiles, able to get that glitter stem like effect twice per game. Uh, to convert all focuses and evades rolled to uh, hits or evades. And then on uh, the... Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a pretty interesting list with three whispers. It's uh could fall apart really easily, could could do well. Yeah, I mean, he started off super aggressive, right? Five five straight boosts, uh, decloak as well. So he's looking to get shots in this opening turn. Uh, we're playing Salt at the Satellite Array. It is the uh, king of the hill. That's what we like to call it sometimes. Basically, that area control around the objective token. And if you're within range one uh, and you're, it's not contested, you get a point starting in the uh, at the end phase, starting in the second round. And uh, on the other side, we got Kyle Borgold bringing the, um, I believe, is this the same exact loadout as, no, 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 no. it's a little bit different. Okay, so similar to the uh, Gen Con winning list with some tweaks. So we're starting with Hound. Uh, in Hound, we have Agile Gunner, which allows you to, uh, during the end phase, rotate. We get, a, we get a rotate action. You have Seven Fleet Gunner, which has become a staple and has always been really good in the Republic, being able to add that extra dice to a friendly ship who also has the same enemy in arc. Uh, and then you got Yoda. Yoda in the in Hound, uh, giving some coordinates, if I'm not mistaken, as well as a couple of Force Tokens to Hound. But I think most of the time you're going to see those... Um, Force tokens used to coordinate. Specifically, Yoda says after another friendly ship at range Yoda to fully executes a purple maneuver or performs a purple action, you may spend one force uh, at the 
if you do, that ship re recovers one force. But uh, in that, I don't know if that's going to be used very often. We'll, we'll end up seeing if it actually happens. But uh, we'll continue here. We have Contrail with R7A7, the crit bot, allowing you to change a hit to a crit for the charge, uh, for spending a charge. We have a Proton Bomb with delayed fuses as well, being able to hold that bomb for one extra turn. You got Crack Shot out there. Watch out for that Crack Shot. Can help push through damage, especially uh, if you see Contrail get within range one plus seven Fleet Gunner. That can be pretty nasty. Um, did uh, was that a barrel roll that appeared to overlap? Uh, he just did. He just uh, did the the fine tuned thrusters uh, wrong. He should have done a barrel roll, not a boost. Got it. Cool. So we're all good there. Nothing crazy happened. As we continue here, so. we have Obi Wan Kenobi in the Delta Seven calibrated laser targeting version with elusive shield upgrade, and then Anakin with crack shot R two D two spare parts canister and compassion. What? We'll talk about that in a minute. But here we go. We got our opening shots, our opening salvo of the match. Let's start with Anakin Skywalker, who has a a long range shot. Sorry, this is Obi-Wan Kenobi, long range shot. Single crit going into Nightfall. And safe through the rock. Plenty, plenty of squiggles there. Then we're moving on to the Initiative 5s, but I don't think there are any that have a shot here. Let's go ahead and move to these Whispers. And it looks like the bullseye was on and got three hit hit crit looking into hound and that's going to be two damage right off the bat for hound early damage another bullseye engaged this one's going to be obstructed triple focuses and spends for three. This is a strong opening salvo for the first order. And we'll see if we end up spending a force charge. We do. And takes two more damage. Yeah, the Republic caught off guard here with these decloak five straight boosts. Yeah, that's it's hyper aggressive. We and we still got one more shot to come. Uh, yeah, at the initiative three. Mm -hmm. so they're going through their steps right now, and there it is. It's going to be a two die shot. No bullseye engage. Assuming that we're going to continue going into Hound here, who has no force. Yeah, no mods on that. So. Got to anyway, James. And that's going to be two more damage. Wow. Man. This has been a very, very bad opening turn for Kyle. Uh, is left with four hull on what is, in my opinion, one of the most important pieces in these Republic lists that allow you to swing up. Versus, uh, versus high defensive opponents. Wow, not and, and it didn't help that there was like no squiggles in that. Yeah, no squiggles. Hmm. Uh, but we did see a miss trigger for marksmanship, which would have pushed through a crit instead of a hit. So. Oh, you are correct. So he, I guess, Sean could have could have had an even more aggressive yeah. opening turn. Yeah, could have been even worse for you. Um, but, uh, thankfully for, uh, Kyle, we did miss that marksmanship trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we had one more pilot to talk about. Yeah, yes, uh, Anakin Skywalker has R2-D2 for a little, little extra regen, uh, in this list, it, the other part of R2-D2 won't really matter. Uh, spare parts canister serve for an additional charge on that R2-D2. Crack shot, which again, we're helping push through damage in the bullseye. And then we have compassion. 
compassion on there before another friendly ship at range zero to two would be dealt a face up pilot or crew card you meaning anakin can spend one force if you do that damage card is discarded instead and you are dealt one face down damage card then if you have two or more damage cards recover two force so the um Compassion card there, allowing for a little bit of damage spreading in the list as needed. Being initiative six, you do have a lot of board information. And um, if there are not more initiative six in there, you're trying to arc dodge with Anakin as much as possible a lot of times. So taking, uh, you know, taking an ex like a damage card here to give an extra life to Obi-Wan or even Hound, depending on the situation, could be really good. But it is definitely not a card you want to use all the time because you still don't, you still have only three hull and it doesn't inflict on shields. That's the that's the other thing because it is it is just the damage card dealt back to one another. So uh, yeah, but you could R two it off. I mean, you can. You're right, but you're still you're still spending those charges, right? I get the engine. The engine is there to 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 ditch three damage for yeah. sure. All right. Gambler Tuber says, uh, five of those are ridiculously better than any other all generic list. <laughs> it is, it is a, a list that is uh, locked behind buying five of them in, uh, <laughs> in real life. I know some people who have done it, you know, for, for, because they either, they just, they just want to, or you just bought, if, if you can borrow enough of them, that could be good. All right, here we go. We're getting into round two. Looks like Kyle's going to be first player on this one. That'll end up mattering for Hollow and Malaris. Starting at the end of this round, we're going to get scoring on those satellites. Yeah, that was the first round, Dion. I know, dude. If you, that, that felt like round four. <laughs> uh yeah i was wondering if, if hound would do this stop um i think I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it uh because nightfall has to make like nightfall has to guess that and go straight mm -hmm. where i think nightfall might go uh, do a turn or something now he's hoping he's hoping to be overshot there right all right Right, so it looks like he's going to go for a boost jam onto Contrail there. No tokens for you. And he called it. So he's going to have a range one in the bullseye shot there. He hedged with Nightfall, and it did end up working out. Now he's got four hull. Probably not going to get taken out. We'll just have one shot. And that looked like that was a focus jam attempt. Nobody, uh, no friendly ship in range. So he has to jam Whirlwind. Oh, you're right, Tecumseh Sherman. That one does have Prockets, uh, so we probably see that. Contrail, sitting in two arcs now, is obstructed currently. Yeah, that might be the, that might be the best place for him, unless yep. he needs to get out of Obi or get out of uh, Anakin's way. So they're going through what? What are they talking about right now? James? Uh, they're talking about how Warwind's ability works. Um, 
people need to be looking at him to get his ability to get focus tokens. Mm-hmm. So did Whirlwind not jam Contrail? Uh, Whirlwind did jam Contrail, but jammed off on lock. God, it had a lock previously. All right, Obi Wan's gonna have a, a dirty shot here. That's gonna be Seven Fleet Gunner into Nightfall. Watch out for that. Yeah, CLT Seven Fleet is a uh, bit nasty. I regret to inform you. That I'm about to smash your face. Alright. Hollow going towards that bottom objective as well. Looks like all guns are on the contrail. So Sean definitely opening up with a with a with a very PvP strategy. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I've come I've come to put you on the back foot early. Oh yeah. And what's Mallory's doing? She's just chilling, two forward, as uh, is my, yeah, is my two, guess. Two, two forward. I mean, could one could one hard, um, but may just do that and take the deplete from Hollow. All right. So it looks like it is the three straight, and maybe trying to land in between those two objectives, seeing if you can grab the center and that bottom Ooh. left. I think I think uh, I think Hollow's in that weird awkward spot where it doesn't 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 grab the front one. All right, Anakin. Goes five straight, jumps over Contrail, and uh, has some choices to make. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you just go for the arc dodge here. Boost with, to the uh, right, like, like or barrel left, boost left. Mm. If that fits, I'm not sure. Could boost right though. Yeah, the boost to the right, I think, might get you out of Hollow's arc. Uh, well, it 100% gets you out of the pocket arc. So True that. Oh, but you don't have the boost. That space for the boost is not there. Just the barrel roll. Well, at least you, you did avoid, like you said, did avoid the uh, the proton rocket from the 709th. All right, here we go. This is going to be Anakin Skywalker into hollow we did see hollow pass the deplete backwards using her ability yeah it could have passed anakin's lock um and just been okay with the deplete you know hit crit focus blink here's anakin's lock And probably going to spend the force to make it three hits and a crit. Starting aggressive. Oof. And looks like three of those are going through. That's hit, hit, crit. It could clear hollow with a direct. Let's see what we get in the box. It is a damage sensor array. So only focus is happening on that hollow. All right, Obi Wan Kenobi into Nightfall. Seven Fleet Gunner trigger. Also, watch out for that fire convergence as well. Here we go. Four dice. Adds the focus. Fire convergence for the two blanks. We've got hit crit so far. That's going to oh, be a full string after spending the focus. Three hits, two crits, looking into Nightfall. And Nightfall is going to be taking four oh. of the five. Wow. Uh, both these need to be not double. Oh, blinded. Weapons. And a weapons failure. Wow, just came up and smacked that guy. <laughs> you beat on my clones? Watch. Yeah. Ooh, watch me. 
<laughs> so yeah. can pro can proc it here, but it's gonna be no mod and it's gonna be down to die. Yep. So here he's go going for it. Oh, and okay. there go hit hit crit on raw dice, not bad. Didn't need the mod. Yoda used here. And that means hit crit will be going through. And uh, missed marksmanship again. Oh, you're right. No, is marksmanship on primary only? Nope. It's predator that's primary only. That's what I'm getting confused with. Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he's. This is the second marksmanship miss. This would have. That would have been two bonus. Or not two bonus crits, but two additional crits. Oh, you're right, though. Marksmanship, because of marksmanship and blinded, that he wouldn't have been oh, able to do that. you can't do it with blinded. Yeah. Fair. So, did miss it the first time. We're yeah. not... We're not... <laughs> technically did it correct on the second one. <laughs> technically correct is the best correct, I guess. Yep. Two hits and a focus coming in from that 709th. Able to convert for three. And oh, three blanks. Contrail. Oh, that was a Magpulse missile Ooh. to jam off that focus. Okay. And that sets up. You get to a critical yeah, damage. The, the pocket behind him. Mm -hmm. He lined it up. I'm not sure he lined it up, but if he did. Oof. We're, about, we're about to know. Yeah, it's gonna. Uh, first, we're gonna do seven on ninth. Um, so obstructed range two. Hit crit. Uh, and gets safe. The evades. Hey, look, a ship dodges a shot. Yeah. So, uh, Whirlwind here, here will get a focus from Obi and a focus, uh, focus from Hound, probably. Yep, there you go. There it is. Whirlwind gobbling him up. Is the bullseye lined up? It sure is on that corner. Oh, no. Contrail's jammed. So that is only a single additional defense die. It's going to be five on four. Focus on the first order side. And we're going to spend that focus to make it three. Hit, hit, crit. Let's see. Can we natty out? You can get one. Hit crit going through. Had already lost a shield. Do we go pop pop? Not today. Wounded pilot. Uh, probably just goes for a range one into nightfall here from Hound. Uh, Thinking his lucky star is to be alive. Uh, two hits. Delivering that range one shot. This might be the only shot we see Hound take. And two evades. Everything's fine. And that moves us into... Uh, that's the disabled power regulator triggering there onto Hound, which is why we have that ion token out there. Now we do end of round scoring here. One. Is that contested? That second one? Yep. 
Does anybody have the, the center, or is he just out? No valid targets. All right. Yeah, one and one. All right, one for each. So keeping pace on both sides. But, man, there, there have been heavy, heavy losses on each side. Right? Nightfall, uh, one heavy hull. Heavy damage. Heavy yeah. damage, yes. Nightfall, one hull. Hollow, one hull. Contrail, one hull. Hound, two hull. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a bloody fight. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if, we, if we take the, the close to dead ships off the board in this next turn, Hollow, Nightfall, Contrail, and Hound, you end up with Obi Wan and Anakin versus Whirlwind, the 709th Legion, and Malrus, who do you think would have the advantage in that matchup? Oh man, if he can fly Anakin well, he can do anything. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think in this particular one, if uh, if Anakin is, or if 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 Anakin is able to dodge these darks and get some good shots, um, he can really take out these these uh whispers really easily hey uh dion and james ah in the event ready room because if anybody uh, could just walk in here and start talking no only you can some come in and start <laughs> talking <laughs> uh how's it going guys want to jump in we just finished up xtc ah uh, xtc you guys are already already under the way here uh starting the wild card round all right, what's the update? I've been busy in streaming and then meetings and all, all the stuff. Give us, give us the details. Well, we literally just finished. Calculated all the scores. And I'm proud to announce a team from North America has won. Oh, a this Canada. is that. I knew it. I knew it. Victory. These Canadians oh. get everything. Yeah. <laughs> they did an amazing job uh, losing only to us, America. I'm pretty well, sure. I'm pretty sure, like, if you be the champion, I think that means you're the champion, right? Like, that's how. Mm, I don't. That's, that's not how the scoring system us. works. <laughs> uh, because, so, I mean, I won't brag too much because uh, after Canada, uh, England takes second in a tiebreaker wow. against Germany. Uh, then uh, Italy takes fourth in a tiebreaker over the United States in fifth. Oh, so, yeah. uh, great job! Followed by Canada. Ireland, uh, Philippines, Australia, Czech, then Spain uh, taking the caboose there. So uh, very exciting! But uh, big, big congratulations, Canada, ninety-three versus uh england's the next highest overall wins like mm -hmm. in or sorry individual wins was only 81 so wow oh, yeah. more a than commanding the other lead yeah commanding <laughs> uh lead uh won very very many matchups handedly though i believe on there was only one uh sweep uh, every team was able to get a win in every matchup so that's good yeah usa had a tough time but it's a tough field, so what can, mm. what can you do? Mm -hmm. Not our day. Uh, you could win. You wanted to. <laughs> if you really wanted to. But <laughs> no, that's that's awesome. Uh, good job to the American and the Canada team and everyone who participated. Hype, hype. So, I love yeah, to see right. all of that. Uh, that I'm, uh, I'm rooting for any non-European team. You know me. <laughs> but, uh, we were bullied ourselves into their tournament, and now we're taking over. That's right. <laughs> This this is yours? No no no. This is this is this is mine. Our. <laughs> <Our. laughs> hey, you know there there were there were many many hundreds of years of uh, of European imperialism. You know, it's just uh, mm -hmm. it's just I think it's just a foot on you know or a boot on the other foot. You know. Uh, no, well I mean <laughs> Canadians were playing like we we played them in the group stage. That's where we came from. Uh, that we were the top two teams out of that group, and they beat us there. So we did get our revenge of the Swiss. But nice. No, they beat everybody else. Uh, but, uh, almost every win they had was four one. So pretty wow. commanding uh, win streak there. So congrats. Uh, yeah, they to Canada. They uh, they will hopefully make it in our time zone next year. So that's that's the only thing we really care about here is uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is be a, a normal time zone. Not unlike your tournament here. Uh, what did you guys end up wild card rounding to? Can you give me the deets? Uh, yeah, yeah, got a, a pretty fun. I think you would like this, Will. A pretty fun first order list um, has uh, three whispers: Hollow and Malaris. Hmm, I do love Hollow. People, people sleeping on that Hollow. People sleep on the Hollow. Hollow did get blasted by Anakin. Um, <laughs> hey, still flying around, I see. St still, still alive-ish. Um, mm. uh, also, uh, have a Republic list uh, very similar to the Gen Con champion. Is that is that right? Correct. Um, with a Hound with a Yoda and Seventh Fleet Agile. Uh, it's similar. The the the, 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 the Hound is where the Hound is where things are are very different. That, that's the most different part right there. Yeah. Yeah, these are these whispers have rockets though. Pretty scary. Uh, there would be a focus rotate from Nightfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. Awesome. Oh, gonna jam Anakin. So some jamikin going on out there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, we did see all of these whispers to decloak forward a five straight boost uh, to deal six damage to Hound in the first round. Wow, that's round, a, round, a, round, round Uno. That's, that's an aggressive <laughs> uh, opening. Uh, yeah, Kyle did not see it coming. He was like, I'm just gonna, like, you know, do I too hard with Hound and I'll be okay. And then he's like, oh my god, <laughs> everything's on fire. Uh, yikes! It was, it was pretty sad. I'm I'm glad I got to the mute button in time for the violent set of sneezes I had. You probably got the first, <laughs> the first two, <laughs> the first two were just for James. The, the The stream did not get them. Oh, I don't think I don't think I got them. You didn't get them. Okay, I did a good job oh. then. Um. All right, so we got Obi Wan moving into position here. Takes an evade. Well, I mean, he's got uh, he's got Nightfall pointing that arc in the back. Oh yeah, and doesn't have a shot right now, which is a problem. Uh oh, do that uh, 4K um, or 5K. Sorry, Hollow. Uh, we'll probably see a bear roll and also a uh, focus from out addition. A quick note about the Obi Wan evade that was done with the Hound Yoda um, card uh, there. No, he spent he spent a force for it off of Hound. No, I don't think so. Hound was already down force because from a coordinate focus to him. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. But I mean, it's basically the same thing. Uh, what's the crit on Kylo? Or what's the crit on Hollow? Uh, did I not put it up there? Damage sensor. Damage array. sensor. Array. Yeah, let them know about that. Oh, you're right. Doesn't uh, because he's trying. As you said, he's trying to barrel roll, but yeah. I don't think his crit allows him that. Barrel roll. He's gonna be real sad to do nothing with his proud or with his pattern analyzer. Then mm -hmm. I guess he could fix it, but then you can't proud tradition. Right. Anything. I mean, you could fix it and focus. Getting that fixed right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to tell him to unbear roll. Flip that card down. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Who dropped that bomb? That would have been uh, Contrail. 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 Elected not to use those delayed fuses. Uh, correctly. Yep, especially yeah. with the fact that out. Hollow is gonna be sitting right there. Uh, and die. Yeah. Yikes. Damage and sensory. Five point crit. Yeah. And again on two force here, uh, looking down at.
Wow. And there it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, five, five point loadout points for uh, five point uh, squads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so hollow. Drew the other damage sensor array. As nice. The <laughs> well, now we know there's no more damage sensor no array in there. there. We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> right. That's not one of them that has three, right? That one just has two? Two, yep. Yep. Uh, thanks for pointing that out, Will. That wasn't me. I think the chat actually. Oh. But I think I'm going to step away. Uh, I'm going to be back at the start of the next one. Do a full one with you guys. Sounds but, good. Uh, I got to clear clear my head after already so many games. Uh, yeah, how, how many How many did you end up personally playing? I played five yesterday. And then I played three and a half today, uh, which was unfortunate. My internet cut out for maintenance um, <laughs> no. during a game. On Funwalk stream, that ain't which right. I could not return to. You couldn't use like uh, your phone internet, like hotspot it. Yeah, no. A, I don't pay for that, and B, that's oh, never gonna run yeah. my computer slash <laughs> maybe my laptop, I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, so I uh, I had to take I had to forfeit that. Luckily, the boys got three other wins and still beat Germany. The boys. Um, but I, I was uh, catch had me against the ropes, though. I was in desperation mode. Anyway, so it's not like it, <laughs> cha it changed it too much. Yeah. Uh, All right. Here, so I'll leave you guys to it. I'll be, I'll be back later, though. Oh, so. he dumps all the force. Oh, for nothing. He just spins the evade. Oh, wait. Hold, who's, who's that on? No, that was on, uh, that was on Whirlwind. That's going to be one damage. Oh, he seventh fleet gunnered it. Yep. Wow. I mean, you got a shield. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I thought he was shooting into Malaris though, which I guess was confusing to me because he rolled four. I don't know. Uh, but here we see Malaris uh, put a shot back in to Annie with uh, the focus mod. So no force here on Anakin. Who needs the force? <laughs> Not I. Not I, said Anakin. <laughs> now we're going to get to those initiative fours. Ooh. Range zero See? into Anakin. Yeah. But he lined at the bull. He lined at the bullseye, so still gets three dice. There you go. It feels like a range bonus, but it's not. We promise. <laughs> One hit uh, cannot modify just, that. Just one. And oh, Anakin. Safe. Uh, man, Anakin dumps all that for us and says, I believe in the dice. How about you? Now, obviously, Obi-Wan, focus evade, not worth shooting there. I think you just go into Hound. Finish it. Take both shots into Hound. Don't get greedy trying to go into Obi-Wan at range yeah, one. You really need to take Hound off the board this turn. Yep. Oh, he's going to go to Obi-Wan. No, he's okay. three dice, focus, evade. This is not This is not the way. I think you're, you're trusting Whirlwind too much to finish the job. Three hits. And spends a focus for no damage. The, the chances on, on doing damage there with Focus Evade were so low. So oh, low. Oh, no. Whirlwind grabs a Focus there. All right. So this will be range one in the bullseye. Whirlwind has four dice and a Focus. He's fine. I mean, might might be. Oh, he overkilled it. He wanted to. He went. He went with five. <laughs> That'll do it. That he's dead. Stop. He's dead. Wait, hold on. Didn't he already spend pockets on whirlwind? No. That is the third procket to go off. All right, the, the 709th fired one, right? 709th fired one. 
Nightfall fired one, and then now Whirlwind. Yeah, but who pocketed who pocketed Contrail? Wasn't it the seven on ninth? I don't think so. So now, now all of them are spent. Let's just double check. Okay. Last turn. All right, just double checking. All right, we got it. Uh, yeah, it was yellow that used the procket, but he rolled enough with the primary range one anyway. That's what that last shot was right there, right? Yep. The last roll? Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Yep. There you go. All fixed. All right. So it looks like we have two points to the first order there. And take Hound off the board. All right. Um, yeah, these... Uh, this uh, Republic list is going to have trouble... Chewing through all of these FO ships unless they start taking a ship off the board every turn. Yeah, I'm not surprised on the positioning on Nightfall being able to turn around and get that arc turned around, which is what um, what made it so he couldn't get shot this last turn. Uh, oh, yeah. I think that that is going to be a problem for Kyle. He's got Nightfall at one hull. Of course, Kyle has been able to hold on to Contrail, so they're kind of in a very similar boat in the sense of they both have a sing. The opponent has left a one hull ship running around, uh, and this is assault, right? This is assault at the satellite array. They uh, they have the option to run around and and hit the buttons, right? <laughs> to to uh, to be in range and control that uh, those satellites. So as we get into the mid game here on our wild card round, I want to say a huge shout out to our patrons, the ones that make it all happen. Thank you so much for their support and all of our rounds this weekend have been brought to you by then. Thank you so much. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, my Save TTT team. We had our first team meetings yesterday. Just How'd to that go? it went really well. They gave me so I I don't know anything about coding, okay? I know very little. Compared to these these uh, gentlemen and scholars, let me say, um, I, I my brain is full of much more knowledge. I understand a <laughs> lot more. Uh, still minuscule uh, compared to them. But it is really great, really great to hear all the ideas they had and how, how, how my vision – for what yeah. TTT can be, like what is possible, what's not possible, what's practical, what's not practical. Because, you know, I started with, well, let's shoot for the moon. And then we're kind of finding what we what we need from there. We found some. Yeah, what's realistic. Exactly. We got some action items and, and things. And If, I, if I've learned one thing with working uh, with all the um, developers and engineers uh, that I've been working with, it's that uh, they will tell you when something's not possible, straight up. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, that's not going to work. Like, but no, 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 no. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely straight shooters. So they're not going to lie to you and say, hey, you know, we can definitely do that. So, yep. Yeah, I'm super excited that the community has kind of come together about this. Yeah, it was. I, mean, I got to meet with like 10 people yesterday. 
just get it, having having these conversations was really fun. So uh, we should have updates soon ish. We got some, like I said, we have some next steps, and yeah. uh, as as we are able to share them, we will. I uh, I'm interested to see if um because I, I know a lot of other game systems use this um uh the the main one that comes to mind for me just because I play it is Armada. Um, so, so my question would be, are those other game systems going to be available on this, or is it just going to be for X-Wing? I can't answer that right now. We, the, in a perfect world, it, we don't change, we don't have to change game availability. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's perfect world. Um, but we, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Right, right now it's, uh, I have to say... I don't know. <laughs> a, a solid maybe. Yeah, it's currently um. <laughs> part of uh, a, a, the, uh, a phrase that I, I learned yesterday was minimum viable product was, this, was mm-hmm. that word. And I was like, oh, I've never heard this term before. Please tell me. So right now, it's part of my list is to keep that um, available uh, until it, I, I'm told it's not <laughs> part, part, part of it. Obviously, X-Wing is the priority. But of ideally, course, yeah. we can support more than one game system. Yeah, because because cor- correct me if I'm wrong here, but um, the previous uh, person that was in control of TTT, he was the one that was doing all of the updates to all the games. Correct? That he did not have like any like um, uh, I guess like game showrunners that were like helping him code in the correct like, different versions. Correct. It was a, it was one man. So it was one guy doing all the versions for like the. T- 20 or 30 different games that's on there? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. That's pretty crazy. Yep. Agreed. How is he even doing that for, like, games that he doesn't play? Like, People just asking nicely. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> and doing the best he can. Smart guy. I mean, I guess that's basically what we were doing with him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what if... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're working. Uh... That that's my save TTT team update. Awesome! That sounds like a ton of good stuff happening. All right, so Malrus did end up losing the stress after doing the hard two. Ends up taking the evade to activate the ability to take care of the focus tokens. Anakin now in the center of the board. Uh, jammed. Both of these Jedi are jammed. Uh, man, Jedi do not like being jammed. They can only rely on that force so much. Before they really need some green tokens out there. All right. Single force Anakin right now. Taking a shot from downtown. Able uh, to get two. How oh, aggressive are we going to be? Oh, he very aggressive. He hungry. Uh, he pushes one. He sure did. He That force is the reason why Nightfall goes down. Oh, my goodness. I mean, like, the aggressiveness is rewarded. But holy moly, like the the cojones. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> the cojones to say, I don't care about your your puny little two die attacks coming at me. Mm-hmm. And it's worked out for him so far. Oh yeah. Here we go. Range one. CLT is live in the Malrus. We didn't see Malrus take a stress. Did? Not you're absolutely right. Uh oh. But has the evade token? Ooh. So not a great starting roll. One hit, two blanks. Adds a focus, spends a force. So only two hits, and that evade token will be enough. That felt a little risque. And we're moving on here. Commander Malris fires back. Hit crit looking at Obi-Wan. Three agility. And we'll have to spend a force to not take any damage. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. So Contrail unable to help offensively but we'll be able to tag that 
corner objective. Uh, is this going to end up being a three to one? We'll find out here. We got shots into Anakin. Two hits. Anakin's got no force. This is just raw dice. And we'll be punished by taking a single damage. That's the He's first shield. Plenty of shields. Shields for days. All right. Yeah, I think it's looking like a three to one, Dion. <laughs> Let's see. Does that reach Obi Wan? Nope. That one's Malaris only. Yep, that is a oh, three man. to one swing towards the first order, tying it up eleven to eleven. Yeah, the uh, a little bit of a comeback mechanic there with uh, more ships on the board. Um, Fo able to grab a couple more than uh, than the Republic. Hmm. One, two, three. Yes, we got three three ships to two ships. So if I'm if I'm Sean, if I'm Sean, am I prioritizing the satellites and minimizing damage? Or am I being offensive? What what would you do? Uh yeah, I think I think minimize maybe taking off contrail. Like if you're able to sneak in uh, that, that last damage on Contra will get you an extra three points. I mean, that's basically a whole round of you getting objectives. Mm -hmm. um, so if he's able to sneak out Contra and not die, uh, take, taking some, uh, you know, uh, focus jams or some evades out there, um, could uh, could pull this out pretty pretty handedly. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting interesting. I'm curious to see what Sean does. Like you said, that contrail with one hull, because obviously Anakin and Obi Wan they are uh, forces to be reckoned with. They're movie characters. They're good. <laughs> you gotta watch out. I promise you, Whirlwind is not your favorite movie character. Yeah, but Whirlwind's cool. We yeah. still haven't been able to see any of his whirlwindiness. All right, for, first player goes to Sean this round. That actually does matter with Obi Wan sitting there in front. Going to have to manage trying to get around that ship, otherwise you end up getting blocked. He's whirlwind to bank. Focus jam. Oh man, these jams are just hurting these Republic ships. Oh, we got a sandwich. Anakin sandwich. Silencer bread. Not for long, but it's there. How would you like to be a double jammed, Anakin? There is another. Maris takes the two turn. That's more about covering that center objective more than anything. It's probably not going to have anything in arc. Yeah, I was going to say, he may go for the barrel here to get, 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 get a good block onto Ooh, Obi. Spicy. That blocks the one bank to the right. Yeah, and I think the one hard. Contrail coming around the mountain. I have one hull. I can fight still. I'm good. Uh, I think Contrail still has, has crack shot, right? Yeah, has lined up the crack shot on the 709th ace. And there's Gets the bump. bump. Went for that one bank and punished for it. Still gets the stress focus, but that's going to limit the Jedi's dial just a little bit this next coming turn. Anakin oh, also no. ends up bumping. Took a two-turn that's not able to be completed. So only going to have a range zero shot. Uh, but may R2-D2 here. So... 
So go ahead and ex explain the R2-D2 yeah, R2, choice R2, here. R2-D2 Republic uh, Astromech, after you activate, you may spend one charge to gain one deplete to repair a damage card, recover a shield, or remove a device at range 0-1. to one. So basically, after you activate means after you've done all your actions, after you've done all your things, then you can do the R2-D2. Mm -hmm. So after he did his move, he could have taken the bump focus, but he didn't because he's jammed. Um, he will get to recover a shield there. I mean, that's okay. Essentially, the the win the win condition is not to die, right? Is against these Jedi. You don't have enough time to take out a regening Anakin Skywalker. Oh no! You need but, to take. I mean, if you if you push a big rocket through, maybe. True, but uh, they're all gone, aren't they? No, the seven oh nine still has up. it. Greens up. Oh no! And greens lined it up. Oh no! All he has to do is not get shot, uh, not lose his focus to these attacks from Obi it's and Contrail. Only one hit coming in from Obi. Easy. Contrail has a crack shot. I mean, I think you still you you you'll take both your shields in exchange for being able to fire a rocket if you have it on, which is very close. Oh, he's definitely got that. I was trying to build some suspense, uh, James. Besh. Trying to no. build. Come on. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Easy. No damage there. All right. All right. The uh, moment we all been all waiting right. for. And the bullseye is on. Spent the charge. Five dice into the chosen one. And he's oh, chosen boy. for five damage. Spend it for five. Three hits, two crits. Two agility and a dream. Anakin has only single force. Rolls a focus. So, That's going to be so it takes four. four. Four damage. All the shields and a crit. And that is a fuel leak. Watch out there for the Jedi. One more, one more uh, critical damage there, and that uh, that'll be bye bye Anakin. Mm. Tasty. Right. Wurblin still has a range zero shot here. Uh, can't modify it because it's range zero. It's still three dice though because of that bullseye. No force on Anakin. Two damage or two hits. Blank out. Oh. Double focus. No mods. Anakin goes down. Wow. Uh, and that'll be the game. Yeah. With seven points swing there. Uh, Anakin goes down. End of the turn. Two points to Gryffindor. Excuse me. First order. And, <laughs> uh, and that's going to be a 20 to 12 final score. Big swing there for Sean. And ends up getting rewarded. Wow. Looks like the triple silencers make it another round. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> All right, I I I got I got to check this Dion. I got to see the stats. This die stats here. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. D Dion, I need I need it. It I, does I, it I, doesn't I, mean anything. It does mean something. When he does no evades. Wait for them to leave the room at least. <laughs> okay. I'll wait for them to leave the room. All right. So, that was exciting. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't even get to finish making the bracket <laughs> for people to see. Well, now, now you know a little bit more information about nah, it. No, I do. <coughs> Excuse me. All righty. Well... 
So that means Sean Holly is going to play against uh, Jared Kusinski next round, who is flying an Imperial list. We have one, two, three, four, five Imperial lists out there today. What do we got? Five Imperials, five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five First right Order. Five. Yeah, yeah, five. Um, five Empire, five Resistance. Three First Order, two Separatist, one Rebel, one Republic, one Scum. That's hot. Uh, yeah, one thing I did want to note here um, is Resistance's cut rate mm -hmm. was astronomical. Had yeah. Lists in the event today, or yesterday, top cut, five. Five. That's a seventy-one percent cut rate. I don't know what that means, but I do like data. <laughs> well, it, that's in, I find that interesting because you know I, Gen Con is where the resistance kind of showed up. Because right before then, it was uh, the reign of the first order, right? FO bombers everywhere. Oh, everybody panic. And uh, the the resistance responded at Gen Con and now are showing up again. Yeah. Okay. That's that's pretty ridiculous. Dice. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um. A ten nine luck score. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan. Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.